Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, shall we? Well, I did have a quick question for you guys as I started out, which was that I got into a situation where somebody played this card right here called Skill Drain on me, and it completely annihilated uh, my game plan. Uh, they, I went second, and they set this on the first turn. And it, you know, it flipped over. And that, what I, what confused me about this card was that uh, it says negate the effects of all face-up monsters while they're face-up on the field. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, it's a trap. So I thought that, um, you know, uh, Trap Trick Sarah would not be affected by it. Or that uh, Rafflesia would not be affected by it because... It says they're unaffected by trap effects, but no. That skill drain card made Sarah unable to do anything ever. And Rafflesia unable to do anything. And so I, I don't know if maybe it's because it's a continuous effect that they aren't protected from it. But it certainly seems like that's an effect of the trap card. Uh, and, you know, I, I was curious what the interaction was with it. And then secondly... Okay, so that card happened. The only way I really had to remove that card from that point forward was either with Fairy Duster or Feather Duster or Lightning Storm, um, because uh, everything else that I have that targets spells, uh, you know, I would need Mermelio to get rid of it, but she her effect doesn't work because it Skill Drain prevents that from happening, and so I was kind of like. Maybe that's just a hard counter for my deck, or what you guys would do to get rid of that particular card. I, d I can't even use, you know, um, Nightmare Phoenix, for example, to get rid of it, right? So I'm just wondering uh, <laughs> what I'm supposed to do about a card like that uh, when it's when they go first and they set it. Um, anyway. Let's jump into uh, some duels, shall we? So I'm enjoying playing my Trap Tricks deck, and I have dueled here and there, you know, while I'm on the treadmill, or just chilling. And I'm, I'm trying to, you know, understand it more and see more where my weaknesses are. And which, you know... Which cards I want to take out and which cards I want to add in. Because there's still some traps that I'm not 100% sure on. Okay. So in this situation, um, I think I want to actually just open with Atrax because she's not going to do anything. And so if she's not, you know, I'll, I'll save her for when there's actually a trap that's in the graveyard. And I'll open with Atrax, and then uh, whenever my opponent gets here, I'll open with Atrax. And then what I'll do is I will summon Sarah. Oh, okay, they're not there. All right, well, that's that was an easy one, wasn't it? Um, all right. Okay. All right. And let's try another one. Okay. So... They've got some pretty interesting stuff going on over there. Okay. Nice. All right, so we have ourselves a uh, good starting hand. All right, I'm going to summon Mermelio over here. I'm going to activate her effect. Looks like they have, like, an Ash Blossom or something. Nope. All right, I'm going to get a Gravedigger's Trap Hole over here. Okay. They had something, or maybe, or they're just playing on... Mm-hmm. 
Okay. They must just be, like, auto-responding. Alright, so they're doing Effect Veiler on Trap Trick Sarah. That's what they had. Okay. Uh, so Effect Veiler says... Just negate her effects. Okay, well, I just don't get her to do her effect. That's interesting, though, because honestly, that's not really that powerful of a play. Like, all you did was stop me from having Sarah do one thing, uh, which really isn't that big of a deal. Like, she would have put a trap out, I guess. So it's like they used a card to stop me from playing a card. Um, okay, so they're going to draw a card, give me a bunch of life. And they're going to play this. Oh, it's a... Okay. So this is the one where I need Floodgate. And I need Floodgate immediately. Okay. So they are summoning this thing. Alright. And what is this? Um, I'll go ahead and just get rid of that. Okay, so they did that. They really know what they're doing. I'm alarmed. Now, did Effect Veiler make it so that she doesn't get to do anything until this turn? Alright, they set three traps. Okay. What traps are in my yard? Just Solemn Strike, which I can't get back. It's not a trap hole. Um, I'm going to then summon this over here. Infinite impermanence. Okay. Um, so in response to that, I am going to activate Mantis's effect uh, to bounce this trap back so I can use Sarah. Yes. Okay. Okay, hopefully eventually I will get to... Okay. What? They stole her, huh? Oh, what a disappointment. Okay. Well... I'm just going to try to kill them, then.
Wow, what a hand they had, huh? What a hand! They had it all, everything. Just rolling over there. Um, yeah, I think I lose because I didn't put that in defense position. I really didn't expect them to have all of those cards. I'm just getting outplayed. I mean, I did not think that they would have this many ways to negate me. Um, but I'll put Sarah back. At least I get her back at the end of the turn. They only have one face-down trap, though, and, and two cards. So hopefully we can do enough stuff here. All right, they're going to... They're doing this. Um, I'm actually going to activate this effect because this card is doing nothing for me right now. It's just sitting there. And so I need to have, you know... Oh, they've resigned. Okay. Okay. All right, maybe they, they bricked or something. But boy, they really had a bunch of good negates and stuff at first. All right. Hey, look. We, we got up to the gold tier. Fantastic. All right, cool. So now we're golden. Um, okay. Fantastic. So I'm going to go back really fast here. And... Uh, Completed submissions. And we can get... We got this gold icon frame and 100 gems. Which is cool. Um, new thing. Alright. And then we got some of these. And... Oh, nice. We're getting really close on... Um, ultra rare crafting pieces. And so, what I'm interested in trying to acquire for our deck at the moment is uh, the main things are Imperial Order and uh, Alamaris. So, Imperial Order is here. And how do you get this? Bah! It's only in Master Pack. So, that's really difficult to come up with. So, instead... Um, let me see what SR trap tricks there are that I don't have. Like, what if I wanted Genlicia, right? I never use this, but... Um... This is actually not that bad. This is an interesting card. You know, um, her attack is terrible, but you can use her... You can distribute her to put down some traps, like, if you have to. Uh, and so, you know, that's somewhat interesting. Uh, but the main reason that I'm looking to get her... Oh, no, I already have three of her, don't I? No, I don't need her then. I was just looking to craft something so that I could open a pack to try to get Alomaris here. Um... I don't know if there's a better way for me to try to get this. I can't get this secret pack at the moment. Uh, Mother Nature Snare. And so, uh, what should I do that would be the smart play? I really don't know the way around, like the ins and outs of this. But I'm thinking about... Um, hmm. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll just make one of these, okay? I already have them, but I'm just going to use the, the, the tokens to make it so that I can then um, open this and do a 10-pull from this particular set to try to get an Alamaris. And we didn't get it, but we got uh, another Rafflesio, which we can take apart, I suppose, if we really want to. Trap 
trap trick. What is this? That's funny. So this says banish one normal trap from your deck, except this, and set it, and then it can be activated this turn. So it's kind of like what Rafflesia does. I mean, you know, it lets you get a trap that you would need for a particular situation. I don't see the reason of ever playing that, but it's funny. Okay. Now, um, I'm not going to pull on that again. Oh, yeah, I'll pull on it one more time. And we'll just go ahead and spike a Rafflesia right here, right? Okay, we didn't. But we tried. Double trap hole. That's funny. Um, just in case. Funny. All right. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is just say, okay, that's fine. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go into the deck. I'm going to go here. I'm going to edit the deck. And then I'm going to... Um, immediately dismantle all the extra cards and this will get us into a good spot so now we have enough to craft an imperial order and i'm going to craft this because uh it's so good at protecting me against so many situations of spells that i just can't get around um, I think I will take out okay and so in this spot I feel good about this Maxi is just absolutely phenomenal card I get that but I'm very very rarely needing t to draw cards like Sarah just gets you uh, cards pretty regularly but, you know, we'll see how that goes. All right, so here's where we're at. And now, you know, if I want to get Alamaris, I can. She's just a little bit easier to get than Imperial Order because trying to open Master Packs is a disaster. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to go first, please. At this point, once I get Alamiris, I feel like I will be able to start thinking about, you know, saving up for another deck. Okay, so this does happen with this deck from time to time, which is this, which is a complete brick. But what's funny about, you know, these complete bricks is, like, actually... I have a, a ton of things that I can do here to stall until um, I can get going. But I'm going to need to draw a Trap Tricks card immediately. Okay. Um... I guess I'll just do that. Okay, so they're setting cards too. Um, no, don't activate that. Hey, all right. We at least got something. So even if they destroy this, we at least kind of drew something that we need. If they Ash Blossom this, it's totally fine. Aww. I wish I could respond to that with my own card. That's too bad. Well, then never mind. Oh, does her effect still go off? No, it doesn't. All right, then. Um... That's it. Well, there went my starter. That was that was a card I did not want to see. Maybe they're playing trap tricks.
Oh, that's good. Okay, now they're going to draw some cards. Or not. Hey. All right, let's hope she lives. Come on. Go for it. You know what, though? I'm going to just attack right here. Just to do some damage. And then I'm going to go over here and uh, put out Sarah. Do I, do I have a trap that I would want to... I don't even have something I, I would summon. Um, but the nice thing about her is... She just does her effect when she comes into play. I'm prepared for all kinds of shenanigans from them. All right, so they're going to Regeki, right? And with Regeki, um, I should be able to... Um... No, I needed a different trap out for this. So th it will only hit Rafflesia, I think, is the way that this will work. Because... Rafflesia protects the other two. Okay. So, now they're setting more traps. Wow, they have a bunch of stuff that they're setting. 
it's weird. Like, I, you know, it's almost like, should I have not done... Um, my Feather Duster at the time, but I thought they had, you know, two good traps set, but they were just holding back cards? They had to just be holding back spells or something. Anyway, I'm doing this just for Sarah. Um, let me get a bottomless. Then I have, like, basically everything. They don't even have a creature that I would want to call by the grave, you know, but um, I'm thinking of activating this effect so I can set call by the grave and returning um, that. Each player can only control one attribute of monster. Okay. Um. It's a trap, though, so, so Sarah doesn't care about it. Um... I'm going to do this here and put this here. Hmm. That's too bad. That always happens to me. I mean, it's... I w I'm hoping that Kalaria will be able to, like, you know, revamp my board, but... What a strange deck. They play the monster. Alright then. There's that. Okay. I guess I shouldn't have done that. All right, right. So they, maybe they are just trying to get me with one monster. They're, oh, they have a zombie. Okay. Oh, it's this. Okay. Well, can't I do anything about this? There we go. Um, You can send this card and one trap from your hand to the graveyard. Then target one card on the field and send it to the graveyard. If this is in your graveyard, you can send one trap you control to the graveyard and add it to your hand. Um, okay. Um, I think what I'll do is just floodgate that. Okay, so they're gonna... They had a plan for that, so they're gonna do that. Okay. Um, fair enough, I guess. What do they have in the graveyard? Oh, no, I could call by the grave it. Um, to get rid of it. Once I kill it. They have an Ash Blossom. Um, I 
Okay. I should have... Uh, I should have been ready for that. Okay. Good. I think I have a Torrential Tribute, actually. I think I can do something about this. Maybe. I should have... Well, no, Floodgate was okay. I couldn't have done another thing because he had the negate behind to stop me. Alright, so he's going to try to summon something. And... Um... You can send this. So he's actually not summoning something. I thought for sure he would. Now, I might lose just by virtue of that. I thought he would summon something. Hmm. Nah. I need to kill that, but I might have missed my chance. He might not summon any other creatures. You know what I mean? Okay, this might work. Why can't I summon Trap Trick Sarah? Oh, because of their cards that they have. Right, right, right. Okay, no problem. I should have done it right away then. I, I thought I could save up and do... Um, and do this differently, but I, I messed up. I should have uh, done the Torrential Tribute right away. So now what, what happens is I'm in a position where I actually can't um, do anything effective. <laughs> uh, I messed that up. I thought I would just be able to Special Summon Sarah. I forgot that they had those cards that won't let me do it. Or is that what it is? Or why can't I special summon her? Is it this guy? I don't know what was... Um... Okay, now I can do something, right? I should be able to respond to that. You just special summon something. Right? Where's my response? Um... Okay, wait, where's... No, I don't want to do that right now. I want to... Where... Can't I... You special summon. Why can't I... What happened there? Why don't I get to play... You just special summon something. What is this? So, this is special summoned as a normal monster, right? And so, here you go. Why didn't I get a trigger to do that? Why didn't I get a trigger to do this? W what happened? It's, car it's still a trap, so it doesn't count? Man, I don't get it. 
Don't get it. No idea why I didn't get to do anything there. Why am I not getting to summon... Like, why are my traps not working? I have all kinds of traps that should have triggered right there. Yep, alright. Well, I've lost. Oh, no, wait. No, I have a chance. Okay. Let me see here. I did what I needed to do, but it, it was probably too late. Imperial Order. We need to draw a Trap Tricks monster here. That is not a Trap Tricks monster. <laughs> we'll probably get killed by our own Imperial Order if we don't draw soon enough, but that's okay. Really didn't have a choice. Oh, it's during both turns? Yeah, I'm dead. Well, it was, it was a good run. It was a confusing matchup. I... I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to Sarah, so I should have Torrential Tribute much earlier. It would have saved me a bunch of damage. Um, yeah, that's this is a disaster. All right, so we're just breaking out, and there's nothing we can do. Okay, well, we tried. I really feel bad about Kalaria. I really feel like maybe I shouldn't summon her, because she takes two of my cards, um, and if they, if they kill that, then my entire board is gone and I can't reclaim it ever. So maybe it's not really, you know, the right card right there. I don't know. I'm not sure what you guys think about that. Like, that was my first time playing against that Eldritch deck, I think. And I got it in the sense that I was able to get to use the Grave called by the grave to get rid of it but it confused me that I wasn't going to be able to special summon Sarah and use torrential tribute my plan was to try to get rid of my mantis and special summon Sarah and then torrential tribute so that Sarah would be protected from the tor torrential tribute um, but it just didn't work out that way Hmm. I didn't draw a good going second hand. Okay, so he's doing his uni zombie. He's sending something to the graveyard. He increased its level. All right, so we open with Mantis and just try 
try to get Mantis down with uh, so we'll, we'll open with Mantis and then we will get a Trap Tricks card like Mermelio and and then we will Sarah and have Phantom Knights of Shea Brigadine to send her and we'll set Solemn Strike um, and hopefully we can put up enough traps to deal with this situation whatever situation they're building. They're doing something with zombies and putting things in the yard, so if I can get a call by the grave, it would be helpful. Okay. Okay, that could be good. All right, so I'm going to Mantis over here. Activate. And... You know, though, I could also set some stuff and then get her and get rid of... Like, if I set, for example... Um, a trap... Like, I could, I could, I don't know how many spells they're going to play, so I could get rid of Imperial Order and summon this, um, and it would give me extra material to summon something else. I'm going to think about that. Okay, so I'm going to pick her up, and then I'm going to special summon Sarah over here. Okay, I'm going to set this here. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to set this over here. And then I'm going to activate this over here. And we will activate Sarah. And um, in this case, do I want a special summon... Marmelio would hit a trap, but he, they don't have a trap. So I guess I'll just save this for here. Over here. You know what's crazy, actually? I could just Utopia and then go through this card. But this says when this card is destroyed um, and sent to the graveyard... You can banish one other king of the Skull Servants or one other Skull Servant from your graveyard to summon it. Do you have one in there? Yeah, so it's going to be really, really hard for me to kill that. Unless... No, I'm going to get Rafflesia. Rafflesia will let me do traps stuff to that thing, I think. Hmm. Let me see what cards I have out. I have basically... Oh, a monster effect is activated. This is a monster effect, right? So can I... Res oh, no, this isn't set long enough, though. So I'd have to wait for it to be set. Okay, so I'm going to get... Um, Rafflesia, then. You know what I do too, though? This might be the worst play ever. I'm going to make the worst play ever. Okay? Here you go. Watch.
Okay. Oh, never mind. I can't make the worst play ever. My worst play ever was going to be to... Uh, I was going to try to do something different. I was going to try to summon um, Utopia. But apparently I don't have space for that. Is that what's going on? Like, Utopia needs to... It needs two level four monsters, right? Let me see. What is it that... What do you need, Utopia? Two level four monsters, right? So I'd like to summon it. I have... Oh, this isn't a level four. This is an Xyz monster, right? And this is a Link monster. Right, right, right. I keep getting confused. I see four stars up here, and I think Rafflesia is fourth level. But she's an... She's not. She's an XY, an Xyz or whatever, so that counts differently. Um, okay, I get it, I get it. Now maybe I, though, instead, I could just get Kalaria, um, and then do this and this over here. Put her over here. Okay, and then um, I'm going to move to battle phase. Now, I don't know if this is dumb, but I'm just going to attack that and get rid of it. And then main two. Um, done. Yes. Okay, they're summoning a card. So in this case, what I'm going to do is Rafflesia and see what I can do in response, right? That's pretty good. So they're going to kill Rafflesia. Um, oh, no, they're going to try to attack Kalaria, which, okay. So I'll take some face damage, but you don't kill her. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, can I summon Sarah right here? Actually, don't need to. Let me summon this over here. And get this. Nope. Over here. Now I should easily be able to special summon uh, just regular Utopia. And we will use this and this like that over here. Put it here. Okay, and then, um,
I'm going to do this because I can parallel exceed. And I think I can get so much stuff out right here that we just kill them. Oh, it didn't let me parallel exceed. Oh, there's no space. There's no space for it. Um, but I could just summon access code talker right now. Um, but anyway, let's, let's think about that, actually. If I access code talker... Well, wait, this would let me... Oh, no, this is even better. I could just return this to the deck, right? That's funny. The problem, though, is if I do that, if I return this to the deck, this guy won't be able to attack. Um... Oh, no. No, it still can attack. Okay, great. Then let's get access... No, this. Yes. And we'll use this. Two materials. This. Yep. And then just punch this right here. Right. And then activate the effect. We will discard... Parallel Exceed, and return that to the deck. Nope. And then... I'll Special Summon Access Code Talker. Um, doing this, and this. Right here. Okay, and then um, we will... They're quitting. Okay. They've quit. Okay, well, we won. All right. Okay, cool. So, you know, sometimes we can sneak out of victory. Fantastic. All right, let's go back. Um, so we get two more wins to get up to gold tier four. All right, let me go into... Uh, we completed some missions. Mm -hmm. And we get this. And we receive all those, and fantastic. And then we go back. And then at the shop, we do have some exciting stuff here where what I can do is uh, open up our uh, bonus packs. And then, you know, let's open these babies purchase and then go wild with it and we got gem knight topaz i know we were all excited about that it happened all right and then we've got eight more purchase them and uh we ended up getting chaos knight arch fiend and jurak tyrannus all kinds of amazing stuff here not really but we did it awesome all right everybody well those were some fun duels making mistakes and i'd love to hear you guys uh give me some feedback and advice on uh the places i went wrong specifically that eldritch match i was really confused about some of the interactions there and i know i made mistakes uh beyond that and so it's just so so exciting to take your guys expertise and knowledge about the game and all of the awesome tips you give me the breakdowns and try to apply that and learn and get better at the game i really appreciate it it's so much fun talking to you i look forward to your comments on this video below and i'll read them and chat with you about it uh soon everyone thanks so much for watching take care